Okay, so I wasn't quite done fixing the model from last week, so let's continue on with something a little more complex. Let's try to remove the conical geometry here and the text found on this cylindrical face. As you can probably guess, the extrude tool is not going to work here, at least not without some setup. So let's try something more direct. Let's just delete the unwanted faces using the insanely powerful direct editing techniques. Before I go to select the faces, I'll toggle on one of the new selection priority options, face, which for those interested really just adjusts the selection filters. Next comes a part I realize most users might not know, stemming from something I overheard at AU. Your selection box direction plays into what's selected. You see, if I draw the box from left to right, it will only select faces fully encompassed by the box. With the way I've done it, I know I won't be able to delete this. Instead, let's try to select it again with one slight adjustment. This time I'll draw the box from right to left. When I let go, you can see I have all the necessary faces selected because selecting from right to left will get all faces contained within the box as well as any that cross the border. With that done, let's go to delete the text now. And knowing what we learned, we'll go from left to right. But when I try to delete, I get an error. So what's going on? Making the same selection, then rotating down, it starts to become evident why we were unable to delete the text. The side faces have not been selected. The fix for this is easy. We just need to ensure that select through option is turned on. This will ensure if shear faces and small hidden faces will be included. All that's left is to reselect and hit that delete key, and there we go. Thanks for watching, and for another great quick tip idea. Cheers.